Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a collective haul today of all of the kind of things I've picked up over the last probably three weeks to a month. Um, a lot of it's from Walmart, some of it's from Ulta, and I think that's just, I think that's it. Oh, and a couple things from TJ Maxx as well. So let's just get into it. Um, I'll start with wax that I picked up. So the two things that I got from TJ Maxx were candles. And the first one is Sweet Peach, and it's by Chesapeake Bay. And this smells really good. I think Chesapeake Bay is sold at Fred Meyer if you're in the Pacific Northwest, as well as perhaps Target. I'm not positive about that. But um, it just has a really yummy peach scent. If you've been watching me for any um, length of time, peach is like my favorite scent in the spring and summer. I just love it. So this was $7.99. I'm really excited to see how this burns. I've heard great things about that brand. The other candle I picked up is Yankee Candle, and it's Picnic in the Park, and it looks like this. And it's a three wick, but it's kind of the short, fat one um, instead of the like tumblers. I've never burned one of these before, so um, it says the approximate burn time is 40 to 50 hours, so we'll see. But this is just kind of a fresh, it's not fruity, um, it's not bakery, but it's like sweet, fresh and sweet is the only way I know how to describe it. There's no scent notes on here either. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at describing scents, but I picked up that. And then at Walmart, I got four different wax cubes. The first one is by Sensationals and it's called Happy Home. And it says, for when the in-laws come to town. And I feel like maybe I've had this before, but I don't remember how I liked it. Obviously enough to pick it up again because it smells really good on cold sniff, but um, that tagline for when the in-laws come to town, I feel like I feel like I've heard that somewhere. So I think I have purchased that before in the past. And then I got the Better Homes and Gardens um, Fresh Pulled Taffy. It says it's limited edition, and it's just a really sweet candy smell. So I'm excited to melt that. I got the Island Pomelo Dragon Fruit by Better Homes and Gardens yummy fruity spring and summer scent, and then Georgia peach tea. And I don't think this smells like tea necessarily, but it smells really good. So I will let you guys know in an empties video how I liked those. Um, the other things that I got at Walmart are makeup items. Um, makeup and kind of just care, body care items. So um, I got this Garnier micellar water, the pink cap. I love this micellar water. I think it's the best that I've tried. I think it's just as good as Bioderma even. Um, and I think it's better than like the simple micellar water or, um, I don't know the other one. I don't remember which other brands I've tried right now, but maybe Burt's Bees. Hmm, I don't remember, but it's a really good one. If you haven't tried this micellar water, definitely give it a try. Um, it's great. So, that and then I picked up the Jurgens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisture. This is just a lotion that builds up um, a tan on your legs and it's not streaky and it just makes it your legs look really nice and um, the text like it evens out the texture and the coloring. So um, this is really great if you have never tried it. So I got one of those and I've gone through multiple bottles of these before. And then I picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Soft Beige. I've heard great things about this foundation. I've heard it's like really good coverage and it was $4.50. So I am excited to see how I like that because that's a great price if it's a good foundation. And then I got, let's see, this Alme Age Essentials Lip Treatment. It says, reduces the look of lines on and around the lips and it has SPF 30 in it. So I'm curious to try this out. Um, I think I heard Marnie from Miss Gold Girl talking about this. I think she was the one that was talking about it and um, it intrigued me. So I went out and grabbed it. <clears throat> Let's see. I got some cotton. So this is the Swispers brand and it says 100% cotton, 150 count facial squares. So I've used the round little cottons before um, at Costco. I get a big pack at Costco, but I've never seen these. And these remind me more of the Shiseido kind um, that you get at Sephora for like nine bucks or I think it's $10 now. I think the price has gone up. 
And these feel a lot more similar to those than even like the Beauty 360 from CVS or the Cotton Clouds from Amazon that I love. So I'm really, really excited to see how these um, compare. They were, I think, $5 or just under $5 for this pack, and it has $150. So it's about half price from the Shiseido. So look for these. Um, if you have not seen them in your Walmart, I think they're new. I've never seen them before. And it has the similar, like, foggy packaging as the Shiseido cotton. So excited about those. I got two of the Wet n Wild um, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. So I got the color Nudist Peach and the color Rebel Rose. So I will swatch these. They're just really pretty. They dry down um, well. They are a little bit drying, just like any liquid lipstick. I haven't really found one that's not. But um, if you put, like I put Buxom lip gloss over them and I think they're great. So the one on the top is the Nudist Peach or the one right here. Nudist Peach and then that's the Rebel Rose. So just really pretty colors for I think year round. The peachy one will be best in the summertime, but the Rebel Rose I think would be great year round. So excited about those and they were like $4.50 for each one of these. Um... I also got a highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals. And I've heard so many people talking about this. Um, let's see if I can open it. Which way? This way. I've heard so many people talking about this, and I'm just like into highlighters right now. I don't know what the deal is, but highlighters and blushes are just really fun. For me, you can kind of see it. It's a terrible swatch. Let's see if I can get it in a better place. It's kind of gold colored. The lighting is bad. Hmm. Well, it looks really pretty. It looks comparable to the, um, it's really soft. Color wise, it looks kind of similar to the Becca Opal. And, um, you can kind of see it there, how it's shining. Anyway, um, it is really pretty, and again, it's wet and wild, so it's really inexpensive. So if you like highlighters, definitely look out for this one because it is really nice. Um, let's see. I got a couple things, a couple more things at TJ Maxx, actually. So I got these pomegranate eye masks. It's a There's five pairs of eye masks in here, and it says anti-fatigue and energizing. I've never seen the eye masks at TJ Maxx before. I've tried the Sephora ones and I really liked them, so I'm excited to give these guys a try. And then I also picked up this Sugar Baby Bronze Bombshell Gradual Tan Moisturizer. So it's similar to the Jergens um, that you just put it on every day and it builds up a tan on your skin. So I'm looking forward to trying this as well. It was $6.99. So comparable in price to the Jergens. It's just kind of a cream colored lotion smells decent so yeah I'll let you guys know how I like that in an empties video as well I purchased this um, this is from Lush this is the lemony flutter cuticle butter so you can use this on your cuticles you can use it on your feet um, elbows just wherever you have really dry skin it's kind of a smaller tub but it's a really thick thick cream and it smells just like lemons so I'm looking forward to trying this I've heard a lot of great things about it Okay, from Ulta, I went in yesterday um, to Ulta because of the 21 Days of Beauty, and there were several things in that sale that I was kind of interested in, but um, yeah, obviously not enough to make a trip, but yesterday they had their Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz on sale for like $10.50, and they're usually about $21, so I got the Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown, and there was a limit of two, which I probably wouldn't have purchased more than that if I could have. But if you've never seen the Brow Wiz, it's just a really fine tip pencil um, that you can fill in your brows and then it has a spoolie on the end to brush the color through. So this is a really great um, eyebrow pencil. I think there's really great options at the drugstore as well. Um, there's a Revlon one and I think a Maybelline one that are 
um, that are really great as, as well that are a lot cheaper, but at $10, it was close enough in price that I thought I would pick up two of these because this is a really nice product. So, and if you're willing to splurge and you've never tried this, it's definitely worth a try. Um, here, I'll see if I can swatch the color for you actually, even though my swatches have been terrible. Let's see, it's just a, just a light brown color. So I grabbed two of those, and then I also picked up um, another highlighter. This is the Essence Highlighter in Pure Nude, and I think it only comes in one color. It's called Be My Highlight, number 10. Let's see. And this, I won't try to swatch this just because the highlighters aren't showing up, but this is just a really pretty, um, not like, um, it's shimmery, but it's not glittery at all, so it just gives a really nice sheen to the cheeks. And, um, yeah, I think it's definitely worth a look. It was like $2.50, and Essence was having a sale that was buy one, or maybe $2.99, buy one, get one half off. So I also picked up the Essence Lash Princess, the False Lash Effect Mascara. I've heard a lot of great things about this, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I grabbed two of their blushes. So I've heard a couple of different people talk about these, and these are the Satin Touch Blush. So they offer just a really pretty, again, sheen to the cheeks when you put them on. And I got the color Satin Coral. Let's see. It's a really pretty color. Let's see if I can swatch it. That'll be a beautiful spring summer color. And then also the color Satin Love, which is more of like a mauve -y pink. So you can see Satin Coral on the top and Satin Love um, underneath it. So just really pretty, um, super inexpensive blushes. Again, they were like a couple dollars, um, $2.50. So I figure if I hate them or they don't work out or something, then I can pass those down and I'm only out a coffee. Um, and then the last thing I grabbed at Ulta were these Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Wipes. I, I Everything I've tried from this brand I have not liked, but I've never tried this blueberry towelette, so I figured I would give it a go. I love the smell of blueberries um, as well as peach, so I just thought it would be a fun, nice change to, to dry out. So those are the things that I've picked up the last month or so. Um, yeah, I'm excited to, to uh, try this stuff out. A lot of makeup, that's fun, some candles, all my favorite things. What have you guys picked up that you've been loving that I should keep my eye out for? I hope that you guys have had a great weekend. It's Sunday, Easter's next week, um, and it's spring break this coming week, so that's kind of fun. Um, it doesn't affect me totally because I have to work, but my husband's a teacher, so he has the whole week off with our son, and um, I'll take some days off as well. But anyway, I hope that you guys have had a great weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.